now, I can tell you that their current team or their former team, the Baltimore Orioles, is not seriously pursuing either Weeders or Trumbo at this point in time. But one team that is, the Colorado Rockies. I'm Ariel Lagami with the MLB.com FastCast. According to MLB.com reporter John Paul Morosi, the Orioles are not actively pursuing either of their current free agent sluggers, Mark Trumbo or Matt Weider. The team showing the most interest in adding either of these players is the Colorado Rockies, who look to further bolster their offense. The Orioles are a very interesting ball club because they've got so many players and so many options there for them to maybe still choose from. They've got a great reputation for them finding the right bargains in January and February, so maybe Chris Carter, someone like that could be an option there for Baltimore this time around. Meanwhile, Colorado has also been rumored to be in the hunt for some bullpen help. And according to MLB.com Rockies reporter Thomas Harding, former Royals closer Greg Holland may be a target. Can a team come in and get him with a decent contract? ESN Denver reported that the Rockies have approached him with a multi-year deal. Bryce should not say that. He said they've just checked in like a whole lot of other teams. But if the Rockies are able to get a Greg Holland, without making a trade, then they do something different from some of their counterparts in the National League West. The Houston Astros have made major additions to their lineup this winter. Carlos Beltran, Ryan McCann, and Josh Reddick headline a group who will join Jose Altuve, Carlos Correa, and George Springer. The Astros' new play-by-play -play broadcaster, Todd Callis, joined MLB Network on Wednesday to talk about the new-look lineup. When you add in guys like McCann and Beltran and Reddick and uh, the guy that A.J. Hinch uh, reminded me at the winter meetings that flies under the radar is Nori Aoki. That, uh, he's going to be a nice little addition, too. Then you've got Gurriel and Bregman in the mix. It's going to be a really solid lineup. Evan Gaddis, we haven't even talked about him. It's going to be a really solid one through nine. You're not going to be able to go through that uh, lineup two or three times without hitting uh, some sort of trouble, you would think. For more on these stories and complete off-season coverage, stay locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.